Okay, in today's video, we are going to go over entering a surveillance report entry into the case file. So first thing you want to make sure you have, you want to make sure you have uh, the specific scheduled date for that surveillance. Um, today we are going to be using the 27th of July, 2 p.m., uh, Investigator Patrick Andrews. So first thing we'll do is go over to the Report Entries tab at the top, hit the drop-down arrow, and go to Surveillance. Now right now I don't have I don't have any entries so to add an entry I'm going to hit this plus sign up here in the top right and it's going to open up this screen to add my report so we're going to go through and I'll add all the required fields so in this case July 27th select the investigator that's me surveillance by is a required field just in case uh, maybe there was two investigators in the field or the assigned investigator was a manager and there was another investigator who was also there. So in this case, we will put Brad Dallover. Now, if mileage is not required, but if you do enter mileage, you can enter that right here. We'll just enter 2,500. And let's go say it was 120 miles. So 26, 20. Okay, so this is where we are going to write the details of our investigation for the day. So our start, our start time is it's listed at two o'clock. We'll just for demo sakes, we'll we're gonna start this at eight o'clock. So 8 a.m. and then end time automatically populates as 8 a.m. Because this event right here, this isn't necessarily the whole today's report. You can break this up. So we're going to put this to 9.30 a.m. And you can choose from an existing template. Um, in this case first entry no activity now these descriptions can be populated uh, within the settings tab under pre-written content so my pre-written content is the investigator arrived at this address uh, no activity was noted and the investigator established a stationary surveillance position so that's going to be my first entry now I can add a little bit more detail however you want it um, some companies like to add, uh, have their format this way, add their own time in there. Whatever you want in your report, you can set it up within this details portion of the event tab. Now you're allowed to add up to two photos per event. So in this case, I don't have any activity. If I wanted to add a photo, I would probably add the residence shot. So in this case, if it's already uploaded into the photos tab within the file, files tab, then I would click from existing. Right now I don't have any photos available. So I would click new and I would click this to choose, open up my file explorer and choose a file from my computer. So this event tab covers 8 a.m. to 9.30. So for my, ne for my next event, I'm going to add 9.30 to 12.30. And in this event, um, I am going to put Followed claimant from residence to scheduled appointment. And then I, I can add followed them as they were running errands to the market. They went to uh, Zumba class, whatever it is. I would add all these details in here for this three hour event that I have. Now with these photos, 
most likely since I was getting activity of the claimant, I would add uh, shots of the claimant, ID shots, and then move on to my next event. So I will add another. And for this one, we are going to end our surveillance at, we'll put two o'clock. So I'm going to add all the claim at home from the market. No further activity. And that will be my report. It's going to be broken up into, in this case, three sections. There isn't right or wrong way to space these out or organize these. Every user, every company is going to be different. They have their specific protocols on writing reports. So some might like to add the eight o'clock and then for their next one put nine o'clock, maybe hourly updates within here or every half hour updates. So you go eight, eight thirty, nine, nine thirty, however you want it. So once your events are complete, there are going to be questions at the end that summarize the surveillance for the day. Um, the expense items are also down at the bottom, <clears throat> whether there were meals, um, you can that can be added here, added description as well. In this case, uh, we are adding the hourly rate and the total of hours that was done on the investigation and we will hit submit and this is how it's going to look when you go into the report entries tab so has all the information on this side and uh, including the mileage um, and you'll also have the report entry that we input if there are any further questions please feel free to reach out. My email is patrick at crosstracks.co and you can also submit a support ticket. Thank you.